morning, how are you? I'm tired, very tired. I couldn't sleep last night. I share my room with six brothers and sisters. It's really crowded. Do it is my youngest brother. He was crying last night, has been for weeks. Think he is really ill, but mother won't talk about it. I have to get dressed for school now. It won't take me too long. I've only got one uniform. School is far away. A two hour walk. Wish I could start it now, but I have to go to get water for my family first. Have to walk to the next village and it takes me an hour. Finally get to school. I love it here. It helps me to forget about all the problems at home. I believe if I get a good education, I will live a good life when I'm older. I love school, but it's but a class of 45, it's too hard to concentrate. School is too hot. I think it's 40 degrees outside. We've got a new teacher today. Don't know where the last one went. I have to share the exercise book with three others. Don't have my own pen and pencil, which makes work hard. I wish my sister was here. She would be top of the class. She was always the most intelligent in our family, but they won't accept girls into the school. I'm so hungry, thirsty and tired. I would love some water. School is finished, but now on to the worst part of my day. It takes two hours to get home, but first I must collect water once again. It hurts my back carrying all this water. At a village close to my house, I am told there's been a problem at home. Run, run fast, you must get home. So I do. I drop the water and run home as quickly as possible. Mother, what's wrong? Why do you look so upset? My brother is dead. He was three years old. So young. I knew he was sick. I didn't know it was this bad. Mum said today it was AIDS. And she says she has it too.